we're explaining here in this long video how to set up the APM to the point to have auto launch. Programming the OSD is going to be in a different video. So we look for the software called Mission Planner. So we download this one. Check for updates. Update found, yes. The first step is to remove the propellers from your aircraft. Second step, connect the USB cable to the APM. Next step, to find the COM port that uh, the computer mission planner will connect to the APM, first set it to auto and then press connect. That GPS health. And you will notice that the mission planner um, connects to the APM. Now what you have to do is disconnect. And you will notice the COM port there, COM port 8 in this case. So then you go to initial setup, press install firmware, and it must be disconnected. And select argue plane. Bad compass health. It's just connecting. So once you've installed the firmware, the latest firmware on your APM, you can start to set up your APM uh, either through the USB cable or if you have the telemetry link, you can also connect the telemetry module to your computer and configure it wirelessly. So at this point you can actually install your APM in your airplane and you won't actually have to access it anymore through using the USB cable. So we'll disconnect. Your module. Your module. Your APM with the flight battery. And now you should be able to connect to your APM through the telemetry link. Use auto uh, sensing for the COM port. So 
now you should be connected to your APM through telemetry. First step in calibrating your APM is to calibrate the accelerometer. And to do that, you have to press accelerometer calibration over here and follow the instructions. Place vehicle level and press any key. Make sure your vehicle is level. Place vehicle on its left side and press any key. Press the space bar. Maybe. Try with the space bar. Place vehicle on its right side and press any key. Okay. Space bar. Place vehicle nose down and press any key. Place vehicle nose up and press any key. Place vehicle on its back and press any. Press calibrate level button. Completed. Be level on both axes. Okay. So once you have your bubble in the middle, then you press calibrate level button. Mandatory hardware. Compass. Press the live calibration button. Calibrating the compass here. Offsets have to be saved. Press OK. That's it. That is radio calibration. For this, you have to connect your receiver to the APM and power everything up. Then you should do a radio calibration. To do that, you press this calibrate radio button. Make sure that uh, all your surfaces are hooked up. And here we go. Press OK and move all the sticks to the extreme positions. why you need to have your proper Okay. When you're done, you have to 
to do all the all the various channels, which I haven't set up yet. And then you click done and OK. All right, so now the control limits are set up. Uh, it's a good idea to put it into um, stabilize mode and check to see that the surfaces are responding in the correct manner when you raise and lower the aircraft. Goes up, one tail goes up, and uh huh. So apparently the ailerons are going the wrong way. Okay. So when you get a surface that responds backwards, then you just press the uh, reverse reverse button here. In this case, it's roll. So now when I move it around, yes, it will respond in the correct fashion. Moving up. And you lift the tail. So that would be the correct direction for stabilize. Do the same with the ailerons. So if you lift the wing, then the surface should also rise. Okay, that's it. Next, you want to set your flight modes. So You have to set up a parameter here. Flight mode channel. So the default is eight, but channel eight is best left to the minimize D for RSSI. So it's we can set it to any other channel, such as five in my case. So I'm gonna write that parameter. Good. So channel five is where I will set the light modes. Going to initial setup just to confirm that the surfaces are all moving in the correct direction. I would set your uh, mode to um, stabilize. Okay, then go to radio calibration. Let's check that all the surfaces move in the correct direction. So, if the surface moves in the incorrect direction, according to your radio, you have to reverse in on your radio. Moving up, and you lift the tail. So that would be the correct direction for stabilize. Do the same with the ailerons. So if you lift the wing, then the surface should also rise. So, if you happen to have anything uh, moving in the wrong direction, then you just click on the appropriate re reverse button here in Mission Planner. Okay, that's done. Here I can set the flight modes that I would like to use in each position. So I usually have it like this. Fly by wire A here, cruise over here, and then when you're done, you can just click save. Alright, so check that all your modes are working correctly. And notice that flight mode 6 will always be manual mode. There's no way to change that. That's the, uh, the way the APM is set up. I like to calibrate the battery monitor by going to 
battery monitor page here. You should select voltage and current. Select other and it should be APM 2.5 plus 3DR power module. Okay. okay, so now we got a measured battery voltage and what you want to do you want to hook up a power meter like this that will display your battery voltage so the display voltage here is 16.64 volts and in the uh, mission planner it's showing 16.74 so what we're going to do is we're going to enter that the correct value and press enter and now you can go to the um, first screen here and it'll display 16.59 so it's a little bit low so what you want to do is play with this value until you get an exact value in your readout. So now it says 16.65 which is very very close to what it actually is on your power meter. Alright, so what you want to do is uh, when you have the plane at the field you also want to calibrate the current. So to measure the current we have to provide the current meter with around 10 amps of current so that we can get a more accurate reading. Make sure your helper is holding the aircraft and I'm going to throttle up until the meter shows around 10 amps here. just did, we increased the throttle to around 10 amps and here in this measured current box you should enter the current that is displaying on your meter. Make sure you save that, um, that uh, value by clicking in, in another box or pressing enter and then you can check in your display here it should show the correct current draw. If it's too high or too low, again, you can raise or lower the measured current value until you get a, a, an accurate reading. I'm going to recalibrate the radio now because I've added some more channels to my setup. I've added channel 5. Um, as you can see, that's the mode switch. I have channel 6 for my video switcher uh, and channel 8 will be PPM RSSI for the minimum OSD which we will show how to set up in another video. So let's recalibrate this. you have your airplane up in the air and you'd like to configure the cruising throttle setting, you can do this while it's flying if you have a helper with uh, the telemetry hooked up. Go to basic tuning and right here there's a value where you can set your cruising throttle. That seems a little too high for me so I'm going to at least put it down to 30 and then write parameters. This maximum throttle setting 
is also um, important uh, for when your airplane will be taking off. Uh, you can set it for the appropriate throttle setting for the takeoff. Okay, so if it's a little too high or too low, you can adjust this setting here. We'll configure the parameter for auto takeoff mode. So go to full parameter list and search for a value that's called takeoff throttle minimum acceleration rate. So when it's at zero, this feature is actually disabled. So the suggested value for this um, is 15 meters per second. Uh, I would, I've tried various values and I've settled on 10 as being a reasonable uh, value here. So save that by writing the parameter and we're done. After that, what you need to do for your auto takeoff is you need to add two waypoints. First one you should call it takeoff and set the pitch angle for the takeoff. It can be anywhere between 20 and 30 degrees. And set your altitude here. I suggest around 40 meters is enough. Right. Then we got another one below that, and we should call that return to launch. There you don't need to set any parameters because this will depend on what you've done in your configuration, which we will do shortly. Uh, then you have to write these waypoints, and you're done. So to set your return to launch altitude, go to configuration again, tuning, search for RTL, and you should see the uh, parameter here, altitude, altitude for return to landing. Now this value is in centimeters, so 10,000 centimeters e is equal to 100 meters. You can set the value that you like here. I usually set it to 80 meters. And don't forget to write parameters after each change. Field you have to trim the surfaces manually. So you want to start out in manual mode. Uh, fly the aircraft. Trim it out using the radio trims so that it flies hands off. And then after landing you adjust the trims manually at the clevises so that you can remove the trims in the on the radio. Thereafter you can try all the various modes that you've set up. Uh, start out with um, stabilize mode. So that's the first mode that you want to try. Heading to waypoint one. And then you uh, should determine a cruising throttle. In other words, a throttle setting at which the aircraft is flying without uh, uh, losing altitude. So you set the cruising throttle speed here in basic tuning. You adjust it right here. After you've adjusted the cruising throttle, you can go ahead and try fly-by-wire and cruise modes.
Before trying auto launch, you should also test the functionality of your return to landing mode. And then the final step would be to attempt the auto launch. So for your auto launch, you have to set the aircraft to the appropriate mode, auto mode. You give it a shake and the motors should start spinning up. If they do not spin up, then do not launch your aircraft. Shake it a little harder and when you see that the that it's throttled up, then you can release the aircraft. Ahora lo pongo en auto. Okay. It's already in auto launch. Sacudo. Yeah. Yeah. 